leading up to the Revolutionary War, Philadelphia was the greatest city in British North America. It was the most populous, and it was the richest city. And that was because we were the dominant trading center. It was a great shipping city, and around that shipping city had grown up a, a class of artisans, and we had a really productive agricultural interland where a lot of wheat was grown. That's why the, there's a sheath of wheat in the, in the city coat of arms, by the way. Um, after the Revolutionary War, though, as the country moved west, New York became more central to the nation. It had a better harbor. You could access it directly from the Atlantic. And because of Long Island, it was protected from the Atlantic a bit in terms of hurricanes and the like. It was closer to Britain and Europe. And its, agricultural, its agriculture also developed after the Revolution. Because of its better location, we lost our primacy as the financial capital and the shipping capital of the United States. Now, this happened over a period of time, but we were able to adjust and basically become a manufacturing center and a trading center across the northern and southern colonies. Pennsylvania is called the Keystone State, and we were the Keystone. The local economic environment was clear, it was transparent, and it was fair, and that's important for entrepreneurs. They need to be able to plan. And if things are opaque or if they're corrupt, they can't plan and they often won't invest.